Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here on the ranch. I figure I'll give you a little truck update today and it's a little bit of a how-to because we gotta fill some depth into old Arnold here. Our 2019 3500 Silverado with a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax engine. Now we had it about a half a year and it's the first time we got to fill up the def. So I got ourselves our beautiful def right here. I went with the blue def, you know, just pick whatever's on sale, I guess. Then you want to go to, huh, what's this? This is only diesel. Well, I guess someone at GM didn't think it would be a good idea to put it right next to here so you could actually fill up at the truck stop. Oh, I guess I got the wrong generation truck. Well, no death for me. Just kidding. Actually, on these generations, you actually have to go in here. You gotta go pop the hood. Because, I don't know, I guess it's where the location of the def tank is because it's on the passenger side. It's uh, right down here in case you guys don't know. It's that big ugly tank right there hanging down. They decided, let's put the def tank uh, under, I mean the fill, under the hood here. Uh, let's see if I can do this one handed. Come on, Latchy, 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 where are you? Come on, handle, here, latch, hood up, oh, God, it's heavy, there you go. Oh, so, if you come to your passenger side of your vehicle, you'll see here is the fill for your death. Super convenient if you would like to use a regular death pump. Um, because yeah, the fuel fills on the driver's side of the truck, so you pull up like that, and then you gotta reposition so you can get the def over here. Well, <sighs> someone got paid a lot of money at GM. Anyway, let me go grab a funnel, let me set this thing up, and I'll quickly show you how to do this. All right, let's make sure the sun's rising right behind the truck, so. Uh, what I did, I picked up one of these so-called death funnels here at Walmart for like two bucks. And that is just going to go straight in here. Um, that'll minimize, I hope, uh, the risk of spillage. Even though these death, uh, death containers do come with a funnel. I mean a hose thing. So it's basically like a normal fuel tank. You move it up. and. You can see here all that white crusty stuff, that's the death. So you don't want to spill it anywhere because you'll get that white crusty stuff everywhere. So get yourself a funnel like this, pop it on like that, and that way you'll minimize the risk. Now for those of you, let me flip you around, you don't know how these lovely jugs here work actually pop them open in the front here. See if I can do this one handed. Ugh. I might need to grab a knife for it. I got my knife in my pocket. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Just grab your knife. Cut along the score here. Flip that open, and somewhere inside should be a funnel thing. That's this doohickey here, which will screw into this, and it's a flexible hose. Let me stand you guys up quickly. There you go. It's a flexible hose that you can kind of pull out like that, but nevertheless, I still. Uh, got that funnel just to make sure and you know you can take this whole canister out of this box because 
I don't know why they have to package it like that. I guess so they can put the funnel in. They could just, you know, package it like this. That would also work. So, open it like that. Regular, you know, lift, pull, tab, as you're used to it. Then, this boy just screws on here. Like that. Now, let's see if we can aim. It's got this little black air vent here. And I would like to actually aim it to the top if possible. See if we can get it. And if not, then we'll just pour sideways. Then you can extend this however you want to. And you know, uh, aim and pour in the def like that. So let me get you repositioned on the truck quickly. So here comes the fun part. You might need a step ladder to do this because these trucks are rather high. Extend. Oh. Kind of aim. You know, you can get that inside the funnel itself and start pouring. Now, it depends how empty you are to how much depth you need. I gotta look it up on the top of my head. I think the depth tank is like seven gallons, five or seven gallons. So, the, on these trucks, the 2015 to 2019s, the depth um, gauge inside is just a digital readout. So. It goes to good for, to like 30% and then starts counting down. And when it hit 30%, it told me I still have a thousand miles left. So, it doesn't tell me how much depth it actually is. But we're, I just got five gallons. Well, I didn't want to bore you guys and pouring five gallons of depth in here. But that's how much it took for being below uh, 30%. I got five gallons of def in here. Uh, you just put the cap back on and you're good to go. Uh, a little bit of condensation to drip. That's fine. Just as I said, you want to make sure you don't drip any def anywhere because it'll leave white marks everywhere. Uh, but we can otherwise quickly hop into the truck and turn on and see what the depth meter shows. And let me just quickly give you a walk around at the truck for those that haven't seen it yet. Uh, black C71 uh, Custom Sport Edition. So it's got the you know color match bumpers and stuff. It's filthy because it lives outside because I don't have a place to put it and it's super dusty here where I live which I hate. I did try to polish the paint. Uh, it must have some terrible coating on it because I could not reach the scratches that were below. Only the fresh stuff that I accidentally put on. So let's turn it on. Yes, we know the hood's open. We don't want to get a copyright strike here. Let's see. If we have to turn the engine on for this or not. Where's the def? Def, def, def. Okay, so before it read a percentage, now it only reads an okay level once you're above 30%. Which is, whoa, hang on. Out, 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 there you go. Which in my mind is stupid because I really like to know how much depth I have and not go from okay to oh you're at 30 percent you got thousand miles range left. But anyway, the uh, video was just going to be a kind of short update on the truck. I've driven it a little over a thousand miles. This whole pandemic situation, not really driving much, so it sits a lot. Does a lot of short trips around town I guess so uh, average 27 miles per gallon on the highway get around 9 ish in town 
but the truck's not geared for doing 25 miles an hour, you know. Anyway, that's how you refill def on a 2015 to 2019 uh, GM truck with a 6.6 liter Duramax engine and the def system in place, which you're going to have because it's illegal to delete them nowadays. Uh, it's not hard, it's just a stupid location, and well, you know, it's just something we got to deal with. Anyway, I hope this video was informative to you guys, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks a lot.